the first baby to be born using a controversial three-parent IVF technique could soon be joined by a number of other lab-created infants conceived through the same method. Earlier this year, a healthy boy was born after being conceived using DNA from three people in an effort to avoid a debilitating genetic disease. But the fertility clinic in Mexico which carried out the procedure says it plans to conceive a further 20 babies using the technique in the first half of 2017. At the heart of the technique is the replacement of faulty mitochondria, the energy-producing units found in cells and passed on by the mother, with those of a healthy female donor. But concerns have been raised around its use as mitochondria contain a small amount of DNA meaning the child inherits DNA from the mother, father and the donor. While the initial child, born in April, has shown the technique works, it remains unclear if the procedure is safe and effective in the long term, or if children born using mitochondrial transfer will remain disease-free as they grow. According to reports seen by New Scientist, Clinical test results about to be published show the first child is now a healthy 8-month-old, with no sign of the inherited disease carried by his parents. Analysis of the boy's tissues reveals that most of his mitochondria have been inherited from the donor. However, despite the replacement, trace amounts of mutant mitochondria have been seen in his cells, with levels as high as 9% seen in some cells, with an average of 3 to 4%. But clinicians who carried out the analysis believe the defective mitochondria will remain at acceptable levels. Medical director of the New Hope Fertility Center Mexico, Alejandro Chavez Badiola, has said that the clinic is working with a number of other couples looking to avoid related health conditions. He also hit back at claims that the Mexican clinic was chosen because of the country's lack of regulation.